subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and smash that like button. Clean-cut lines give her a look of great speed and trim, majestic power. The raked bow is knife-sharp, and the hull has a graceful, curving shear. She's the SS United States, world's fastest, most modern passenger ship, and the largest liner ever built in this country. 990 feet long, roughly five city blocks, 101 feet 6 inches wide, and gross tonnage 53,300, she had a triumphant maiden voyage. Among the distinguished passengers was Margaret Truman, here with Skipper Manning showing her how to keep a superliner straight ahead at a record 35 knots. It was a special gala voyage for the 1,700 lucky passengers, and gaiety mounted as the floating palace neared her European port. Having crossed from New York to Bishop's Rock off the English coast in three days, 10 hours, and 40 minutes, the liner United States established a new Atlantic speed record, July 6, 1952. Cheering crowds at Southampton hailed the American ship that had clipped 10 hours from the transatlantic mark set by Britain's own Queen Mary. Then westbound, the United States knifing through the Atlantic for her second record crossing. It was noted by the builders of the ship that in the event of necessity for emergency conversion to military service, the United States could transport 14,000 men, or virtually a full division, 10,000 miles without putting into port for food, fresh water, or fuel. But for the crew and officials and passengers aboard the liner, the greatest moment was now at hand. The United States was reaching Ambrose Lightship outside New York with the blue ribbon of the Atlantic, having made the return trip in a record three days, 12 hours, 12 minutes. Miss Liberty joined in saluting the ship whose maiden voyage shattered Atlantic speed marks going over and coming back. At the turn of the century and beyond, Great Britain and Germany dominated leadership in fast Atlantic crossings. Now, for the first time in almost 100 years, the speed crown was claimed by the Stars and Stripes. New York, home port for many of the greatest ships on the oceans, really put on a show. Big Broom symbolized the sweep of the Blue Ribbon Speed Trophy by the $70 million United States, America's First Lady of the High Seas. <laughs> 